so you know one of the favorite tactics of the internet is to take like any form of like they can figure something bothers you out and then use that, you know, in such a way to hurl that and work that into like their abuse of you in particular. Like they, they will get like if there's something that they realize will get under your skin, they will fucking use it. And, you know, truthfully I've I've long been bothered by anybody that even so much tries to associate me with the tactics and behaviors of our uh platform on here and our uh yeah you know i i hesitate to even use this terminology because it's just too sarcastic and drenched in it you know in such a way that people just would think oh he's being serious so no i'm, I'm rethinking it in my head like my dear friend but no like oni why 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 is this guy this motherfucker like not in jail in prison yet and what the fuck happened to chris hansen because you know, and looking over, like, the old videos that are now showing up in my feed from True Crime Daily, like, uh, you know, like, all these guys. Like, I'm having, like, a number of thoughts when I'm watching them, and, you know, they're along the lines of, you know, this guy looks a little bit, like, overweight and out of shape. Like, why is he even trying to run from the police? He's clearly not going to get away from them. I used to be fast. I mean, I, I ran the mile in, like, 7 minutes and 32 seconds back in, um, seventh grade i i have been going on walks and thinking about it more and more um, you know trying to get back up there but yeah i uh i i i i just like these guys like one thing i'm noting is that they never get away from the police and now chris hansen has a platform but uh, you know or when when he does confront somebody you do um the police have his back anymore it doesn't really seem like it you know it seems like these are just like historical videos from, from the past from back when four years ago or so when chris hansen was actually good at taking down predators and catching them and you know onisan is ultimately a predator and you know they haven't managed to take him down i, I mean like i've got my own reasons to not carry the party line with them anyways like you guys like I, I, I just private by nature I don't open up or spill about a lot of things I mean god like, can you forgive me I mean like the internet has used anything it can to try to get under my skin so of course like I would tend to you know not open up as much but you know the, the, the truth of the matter is just that um well, not the internet and, and broad, but YouTube, you know, but only son pisses me off. Like, I don't agree with him on, on a lot of this shit. He basically tried to creepily start a cult of his own and everything so he could have people like bowing down to him and worshiping him in particular. And, you know, the truth of the matter is just that he's like of the very strong view that anybody that even so much as you as smokes pot is a fucking like terrible human being because how dare they you know approach a substance like that and you know i've got family like my own family was using it it's like i'm glad they were using it because they were able to avoid it would have been opioid to deal with pain otherwise you know if they hadn't of turned to pot and one thing that we did find is that pot you know where it was legal there tended to be less there was a major correlation with there being less uh rates of uh opioid abuse in states where it was legal and now is correlation necessarily causation as people like me have become so fond of repeating that it isn't um no but it seems fairly likely both of them deal with pain you know one is and and in my father's case i happen to know it was causation because my father fucking flat out told us that he was using pot as an alternative to having to use opioids, you know? So, correlation is causation in his case. Now, do I know that that's necessarily, like, does that necessarily generalize to the broader population? I don't fucking know, okay? I can't, you know, as somebody that, you know, is, is you know, interested in science, but I can tell you that my gut instinct tells me that this is probably the case for the wider public. You know, like like, they're probably all in the same boat. You know, it's probably exactly what's going on. 
I mean, I would like I would like to see more uh, evidence and confirmation for that, so that the people that really respect science and tend to be skeptical, I can be like, see, I was right. But yeah, I I, I really do. That's my hypothesis. It's my working one, and I I mean I. I, I see so much of it already with my own family and, and Oni San just pissed me off and I when I think back to like my dead friend Kara. Why did people say that she was a bad influence in the first place and why was she so down on herself? Why did she hate herself to such an extent? I mean like why why was she cycling from abusive partner to abusive partner? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's because that those guys were the ones that confirmed the negative self talk that she had in her fucking head and, and you know we're attracted to it it's the ones that got magnetized towards it and people like me just came across as a little bit too into her and it freaked her the fuck out so she ran straight into the arms of people that were uh not so much so would you know would trash talk her right to her face and i mean there are there are people that will say that that was victim blaming but you know i don't I think that victim blaming usually takes the extra step of saying that they deserve their fate. And I was heartbroken that she, you know, was getting abused the way that she did because it was so evident to me that she deserved better than what she was getting. But, you know, uh, truth of the matter is that it takes two to tango. And Kara also was not entirely, you know, blameless about what she was suffering. But, you know, the the, the truth of the matter is just that you know, when it when it when it when it comes to when it when it comes down to it, when it comes down to everything that that you know, at the at the at the end of the day, if you know, people had not jammed into her, her head that she was a bad influence and had not been so judgmental and, and jamming that in, you know, like it it's a little bit you know, would Kara hate herself to such an extent that when she caught Jennifer stealing from her, you know, um that she would have just put up with it and ran, allowed herself to get run over to the extent that she did. Like, you know, instead of cutting the friend out of her life, Jennifer, who was the one that drove off the bridge and drowned in the river, you know, or, or drowned, got her drowned in the river, got rescued herself, then failed to notice the notify paramedics on time. There are a lot of people I used to hang out with that I don't hang out with because of some shit that was pretty epic as far as abuse. You know, so to speak. I have another friend who used to be like this with me, very, very close, and yet, you know, there are two women in his life that uh, were recovering from their addictions, and then he just dragged them back under the surface and had fantasies about going out in a drug-addled uh, blaze of glory, basically, and dying an early death, and was a suicidal imbecile, and I, uh, I don't hang out with him anymore because of his lust for death. You know, like I, we, we, and the fact that he was intent on bringing women down with him so that he didn't have to, you know, go die dead in a ditch alone somewhere. You know, I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't see why anybody else should have had to suffer because of the fact that he wanted to die. And, you know, that, that unfortunately was what he put us all through. And I, I, um, it sucks because I know that he will go on and find more victims and I can't, you know, I can't warn them. I can't help clean up the mess for them the way that I do his two ex-girlfriends now. And I would like to get in touch with Bree too, you know, the, the third before all, before both of them. I would very much so like to reconnect with her. We just lost touch. I had other focuses, unfortunately. You know, if I had known better, maybe I would have hung out with you more. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, but but the truth of the matter uh, about everything is just that there are a number of people that I don't talk to anymore or even hang out with. And uh, almost all of it is because what you did fucked up the lives of somebody I cared about that was female, you know? And, you know, uh if I if I come on here to women, I say to you that if one of my male comrades is abusing you, and you know, I just let me know, and I'll you know cut him out of my life. And you know, you say, oh, I've heard that before. Well, you know, the truth of the matter is that it doesn't matter that you've heard it before because I've already fucking done it with 
a number of people. So you know that I'll make fucking good on that fucking promise. 